hello there. Today's video is going to be about this little red flower here, Lycoris radiata, um, also called uh, surprise lily or uh, red spider lily in English. Uh, its Japanese name is Higanbana. I'll talk more about that later. Um, this lovely little plant always flowers right around the autumnal equinox. And um, so here we are right at the beginning of fall and it's in full bloom. Today we're going to be looking at uh, plants in a valley that's just to the east of here uh, and uh, also we'll be seeing its hybrid which is Lycoris albiflora. So we'll talk more about that as we get over there. So uh, please enjoy the video. Thanks. Here is a typical habitat for the species growing along a small river. You can see it back there growing up against the hillside and uh, most of them grew up there as well. Uh, this species is found almost entirely along small rivers and near rice paddies since it was all been planted there by human hands. These are in fact sterile triploid plants and cannot reproduce uh, from seed. Well, it's just the second day of autumn, a uh, beautiful day, and my wife Yumi and her friend Yasko and I have decided to come to this little valley near Fukuoka City to see this neat little flower in the world. so let's go check it out. These have been planted along this small road. Um, if you look in the background there, you can see them growing uh, near the rice field, which is a more typical place for them. The flower is named after Ohigan, a Buddhist holiday. Ohigan uh, is Nirvana, and Bana means flower. So this is the flower of Nirvana. And the red flowers uh, symbolize the souls of the dead. The red of the flower also symbolizes blood. And for this reason, it is considered unlucky to uh, harm these flowers when in bloom. And uh, also uh, to plant them around the house. You see that uh, peppermint striping on some of the flowers. That is apparently not a genetic trait, but I think it actually is just a reaction to uh, stress of some sort. Less commonly seen is Lycoris albiflora. Uh, this is an endemic of Kyushu and as it turns out is also a hybrid. Uh, here we are jumping to my house real quick so I can show you the two parents of Lycoris albiflora. This is Lycoris trauby which appears to be uh, very closely related to the southern Chinese and Indo-Chinese uh, species Lycoris aurea, which it's often confused. Anyway, it's been proven through hybridization um, experiments that this indeed is one of the parents. Uh, this plant is native to Taiwan and some of the southern islands of Japan. And if we come over here, we can see, of course, the other parent, which is Lycoris radiata, and then the lovely hybrid. Uh, Lycoris albiflora. Now let's go ahead and uh, go back to the river and see more of those plants in their lovely native home. Here you can see a variety of these plants in flower, some more pink and some more yellow, which points towards their hybrid origin. The only question is, 
How is it possible that radiata is one of the parents given that most of the plants are sterile triploids? Uh, this is still a mysterious issue and has not been resolved yet. One possible explanation to this mystery is that the radiata parent is in fact the Chinese form humula, which is a fertile plant. But how this hybrid became a Kyushu endemic is yet a mystery. Well, a late afternoon rain shower is chasing us back to the car. Um, I sure hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, I, of course, welcome you to come back for future adventures.